We all like to think that by the time we die, we'll have lived our lives to the fullest, with no regrets or grief weighing on our conscience, knowing that we have experienced as much as the world had to offer to us. Unfortunately, in my case, the world had other plans. I never had any ambitions. I mean, like, I never created a bucket list. I think it was the name that put me off. I just didn't get why they called it a bucket. Um, anyway, yeah, I mean, I never really travelled very far. I think the furthest I ever travelled was to the edge of my village. So, I guess that's why I feel like I've never really done anything with my life. And now I guess I won't really get the chance to do any of the things I wanted to do with my life because of, well, you know. Yeah, I guess you don't really understand being a cat and stuff. Well, that's pretty obstinate, Peter, and stuff. Oswald? You can't ignore me forever, Peter. You know that, don't you? Well... I have been ignoring you for this long, so I suppose I'll just keep on not talking to you. Mm, you could. Or you could listen to the advice I have to offer about how to spend your last days on Earth. Wait, so... So you're like some... Some age-old spirit master who's come to put me on the right path of a mystical quest or something? Truth is, Peter... I may just be a figment of your imagination, and as a result of your anxiety from impending mortality, I have been summoned by your lonely consciousness to put at rest any doubts you may have about dying alone. What? Peter, what have you done with your life? Really, though, the world is going to end in a week. Well, what did you have in mind? Hello, Felicity. Uh, How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. I thought you didn't know how to ride a bike. I, yeah, no, I, I didn't. It's the first time I'm learning. Oh, that's not really like you. Yeah, no, I, I guess it's not. Oh, Peter, you're bleeding. Oh, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> yep, um, That seemed to go well. It's a nervous thing. It happens when I panic. It just seems like a real shame. I mean, I'm never going to be able to make up what I had with her. And, well, now I'll never have a chance. 
What do you mean? Of course you still have a chance. How? Just show what you've learned over the past few days. Prove that it's never too late to mend your mistakes. Yeah. Felicity, b before you say anything, I, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I left you like that last year when, when everything started to get messy. But I want to show you that there's no reason to be afraid of what's to come. So please, if you could just... PTA, I... Please, this, this might be the last chance we get to spend with each other. Still afraid of the world ending. Yeah. You you know what's incredible about our existence? It's that we can trace it back to those stars. Because the elements that are found in the human body are traceable right back to the cores of those suns. Elements like oxygen and nitrogen. And when they die, they explode and they scatter into the universe. These elements then condense and form, creating gas clouds that stars are born from, and, and planets with life. So I know that when this world ends, my element's going to be passed on to another world and another life form. So if you've lived your life and you've done everything you want to do, then there's no reason to be afraid because it's not the end. It's just the beginning. Thank you. or brief weighing on our conscience. Knowing that we have experienced as much as the world had to offer to us. I did. <laughs>